It is important to remember that the TWS API is an interface or an extension of the TWS and IB gateway. When troubleshooting issues with the Excel samples or other API applications, it is important to check the corresponding TWS functions. TWS can be used as a reference for the expected behavior of the API application or to check if a legitimate issue stems from TWS itself. Additionally, when working with API applications, it is important to monitor error messages and gather diagnostics files and logs. Say you are requesting historical data via the Excel DDE sample. In row 12, we are requesting historical one-day bars for IBKR. The end date time is 2020 0909 59. With these parameters, you may assume that the last daily bar returned would have a timestamp of 2020-09-07. However, the timestamp of the last bar is 2020-09-04. To check why the response is not what is expected, we can review the corresponding TWS function. In this case, the API historical bars function corresponds to TWS bar charts. In our shifted graph, Locate the bar with date 2020-09. Then let's count three-day bars going back, and there is no bar for 0907. You have now confirmed that TWS shows the same result. To take it a step further and see if this is expected TWS behavior, you could check the IBKR trading schedule and find that trading was closed on 0907. When an API function does not produce the expected results, the first thing to check for are error messages. Whenever a request is made to TWS by the API, some sort of response is usually expected, whether it is account management, market data, or an error message. Although there can be an issue that causes TWS to never return a response to the API, it is fairly uncommon. The API returns error messages via the error callback function. As with most callback functions, each message has a rec ID or request ID associated with it. This ID will allow you to associate the error with a specific request, whether it be a placed order, a request for market data, etc. Let's go back to our first scenario where we were requesting historical data for IBKR via the DDE sample. Now, let's intentionally send an incorrect request. Here we will add an R to the end of the symbol to make the symbol invalid. No new output page was created, and if we scroll to column Z, there is an error. The error code is 200. This message indicates there is something wrong with our contract, in this case the symbol. An ID number associated with this historical data request and error is listed in column X. To see a list of most error messages and a description of what they indicate, go to the errors documentation page in GitHub. As a final note, when moving on to build custom API spreadsheets and applications, error messages will be essential as well in order to create a robust program that can respond to different situations. See our documentation on considerations for automated systems for further information. If you are not able to find the source of an issue by checking the TWS or reviewing the received error messages, the next step is to gather log files and diagnostics for review. Advanced logging must be enabled in the API settings. Check the box Create API Message Log File. This will create a separate log file only recording API messages. Then set the logging level to Detail. This will allow TWS to record detailed API messages in its logs. Also, you may check the box Include Market Data in API Log File if you are troubleshooting issues involving market data figures. Now let's click on Apply and OK, and Advanced API Logging is enabled from this point forward. After an issue occurs, the log files can be reviewed by either the client or an API support representative. The client may view their logs by going to the menu Account, Diagnostics, then choose either the TWS logs or the API logs. Choose a date and export the logs to a directory. 
logs are saved as text files. To upload logs for review with an IBKR client services representative, press the keyboard combination Control Alt Q in TWS or IB Gateway, or go to the Help menu and Upload Diagnostics. Then in the Upload Diagnostics window, press Submit. TWS and API logs can be a bit complex, especially TWS logs. However, an important concept in the API logs is that a left arrow indicates an outbound message or request being sent from the API to TWS. And a right arrow is a message being returned by TWS to the API. The Python source file message.py contains a list of these outbound and inbound message codes. This covers the major concepts of issue diagnosing and troubleshooting. IBKR support representatives can help with further questions. Please note that the API can help troubleshoot issues and review log files. However, it cannot provide programming assistance or troubleshoot local operating system issues. The topics discussed here are also documented in our API support page. Thank you for participating in the IBKR Excel API course. To wrap up, we explored how to connect Microsoft Excel to TWS so we can retrieve market data, place orders, view account and portfolio data and more. Used RTD, which is a worksheet function provided by Microsoft, which allows Excel to retrieve data from a real-time data server. Ran the DDE socket bridge batch file and accessed market data using a blank spreadsheet, plus walked through a sample TWS DDE. Next, we viewed the ActiveX API for Excel, which wraps the C# -sharp and .NET API. And finally, remember, when working with API applications, it is important to monitor error messages and gather diagnostics files and logs. Please reference the TWS API user guide and sample spreadsheet at any time, and note that you may want to practice using the API with your own TWS paper trading account. Thanks for watching.